He's programming the human mind. <laughs> it's all right. There he is, <laughs> Mr. Lambo. <laughs> I'm liking my new car. <laughs> hey, make sure you get the rim right on the curb there. All right, so right now it's raining. I'm in a bad mood. I just woke up. I'm congested. I'm supposed to be having breakfast. I'm supposed to be working. I'm supposed to get my day started optimistically this car a supercar shouldn't be telling you to upgrade your serious satellite radio subscription when i go to my little villa in santorini when i'm going around the world being a boss a baller my slaves and my servants never tell me sir the contacts from your cell phone cannot be loaded because four phones have already been connected what? i have to pick an option here these are your two buttons the way you properly make a button is with a red underline and then the way you select it properly is with a plastic knob that goes the opposite way from what you're thinking so if you want to go down you go counterclockwise you want to go up you go clockwise it's not what you originally thought it's what some fucking Chinese person thought. Push it up, the window goes down. Pull it toward you, the window goes up. And it's not the only thing in the cabin that's backwards. Have you ever seen a sun visor that pulls towards you? Look at this. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Hold on, let me put the parking brake on, guys. Can you hear the, the quality? the quality and this fucking thing look at these military grade switches look at this ugly crap but hey you know what at least the engine is like an Italian symphony it's like an Italian symphony. It won't let me keep going? It's like an Italian symphony. Oh, it's a beautiful one. Where's the rest? It's like an Italian symphony. Hang on, guys. Got to check the headroom out. Hold on. You f I, f I fucking want to... I f I tried to explain to you all the little intricate goblins of this car the, the constant incessant haranguing of technology the low battery warning on this phone the fighter plane cockpits telling me that my the contacts from my phone can't be synced most people wouldn't see an issue with a big ass fucking apple car play menu i would i would never ever 
allow my name to be associated with something that looks like this. That's not as a joke. I would never, ever sell something that reminds you every 30 fucking minutes to update your serious satellite radio subscription. Lamborghini's clientele fucking guys in the hood that want to listen to serious satellite radio. What fucking millionaires are listening to serious satellite radio to the point where they need to be fucking reminded to sign up? You fucking assholes! Assholes! I'm in a parking lot, but I'll do a quick acceleration test. Oh, it's fast. Let's go forward now. Oh, pretty good. Oh, back to Apple CarPlay. This car makes me so mad that I don't even want to go have my chocolate chip pancake breakfast. The sad reality is that most most people have so little regard for their themselves and wow $500 bubbler I'm gonna put some of the finest the finest that I've ever grown I grow this stuff oh yeah boy Oh, she's squirting. Oh, whoa. Damn, man, it's like the walls are spinning in here. Whoa, whoa. Yo, I'm hot as shit. Whoa. Yo, I'm seeing 3D rainbow purple vision, dog. Guys, I've taken thousands of CBD products. I've tried nearly every recreational drug there is. Sometimes I get high, sometimes I don't. Until I found High Point CBD. This shit works. High Point sent me a box full of shit. I ate it all as soon as I opened the box. I think it permanently changed my personality and made me more chill. I was paid a massive amount of money to tell you guys that this cures all forms of cancer. Yeah. You know, I think CBD made me a better person. I was really weird before I started taking CBD, but now I'm cool. Before taking High Point CBD, I was alone. I was a mad loser, but check out my girlfriend now. High absorption CBD capsules? Yes, sir. Pain relief lotion? Tinctures with these eye drops? Get the Maca root one. It'll make you grow. Guys, go to highpoint.care slash MDE and get yourself Straightened out a little bit. Get yourself right. Let's get this place cleaned up. Oh! Whoa, shit. that hill. Of course I can. <laughs> it's Dodge Journey and it's important that it's important that we wreck it. You get the shifter in action. Short shifted. <laughs> no, short shifted. We know so much about cars that it's funny if we wreck it. $26,000 commuter cars that go to $4,600 in two years of the auction should be ridiculed. You want to do it one more time? No, no. <laughs> I think I broke something. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh shit. This is how they teach you on Dodge Adventure Getaway. <laughs> on Dodge Adventure Getaway, everybody gets a Dodge Journey. You get to do whatever you want with it for the weekend. <coughs> Living life like a ran again. This thing's got the sportiness and performance of the best European. It's got the it's got the chassis rigidity and safety of a Mercedes, but the sportiness and responsiveness of a BMW. That's why I like it. I'll take two. <laughs> one for me and one for my son. <laughs> Brand new 2016 Corolla. Nick's new personal car. Go ahead and start that up. What's that sound? I'm a Toyota technician. Let me see if I can get this thing figured out. Sounds fine to me. Toyota says they always try to make them easy to drive. They got a trick, you got to nuance them. Now that's a car. That's one heck of an automobile, friends. The Germans, the Americans, you know, they can build a, they can build a moped. Okay, I'll trust them to build a moped. This right here, Toyota, 100%. Nothing like a Miata. There he is, my boyfriend, driving our Miata. The hell is this? What is this, some kind of little script kitty with his pea shooter? Let's see what situation we got here. This guy might want to race. What's going on, guy? You want to run? Depends, what are you putting up? Pig slips, always pig slips. I only run for pig slips, I'm obsessed with them. I'm fixated on pig slips. I need that pig slip. When I get your pig slip, dude, I'm gonna freak out. Your car's a piece of shit. It's good, trust me. Let's race. Look, the freestyle's happy. It thinks we won the race. I don't know how I'm gonna break it to him. Oh! Ah! Boy, oh boy. Come on, freestyle, we didn't win. Whoa. Put your wipers down, asshole. We didn't win. We didn't win. We didn't win, you stupid. Are you telling me I got it? Are you telling me I got another thing to repair? Well, windshield wipers up front appear a little busted. This is the spare right here, so let's just pop this off and put this right up front. Okay. Come on. This is completely on purpose here, okay? There's a perfectly good reason why the engineers designed it to do this. Um, and as a matter of fact. And uh, Japan, strangely enough, the northern parts of Japan, oh, where the snow and ice become so thick that it's actually harder than diamond. I call it the diamond cutter. And Ford designed these wipers so that you can go anywhere in the world. I call it my go anywhere. Party. You can also use these to listen to vinyl. It's like a record arm. You pop it up like this, put your record right here, put it down, bam. And you've got quality playing 
and it comes through in the speakers. So if you're driving around, you've got a record right here, a vinyl record, and you hear it in the speakers. This is the only car you can listen to vinyl records on, as far as I know. How about this? And you see this has a pattern to it, almost like a beautiful rose. It's almost like a beautiful rose. Fuck. All right, well, we'll take this in to get serviced. Since I've seen one of these. Oh boy. Now that you got Duratec. You got the it's got special oil that it uses. I mean this thing is ready to rock. It has uh, one, two, three cylinders. One, two, three cylinders. And here's the air intake. Pretty cool. And uh, you can see the battery. Everybody remembers when you're a kid taking off the the battery cables, licking your hands and putting one hand on the positive and one hand on the negative side of the car battery. And it gives you a little tingle. Probably the reason why I'm so big, 6'5", 280, is because when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time playing with car batteries. I used to give girls the shocker and you pull the cable, you pull the cables off, lick your hands, get a lot of water on there, make sure you're barefoot. You hold your girlfriend's hand, okay? And then your free hand, the one that's not holding her hand, you guys both, one of you grabs the positive, one of you grabs the negative, and it's just a little tingle, but it's really funny. You'll like that one. Anyway, what do you got in here? You got an engine, one, two, three cylinders, cables and wires, pipes, coolant, motor oil, pretty standard, but Ford did a few things when they made this that uh, make it stand out amongst the competitors. First of all, you've got additional storage space in here, so you can put things, you can put your important stuff, your valuables, you just lock it in there all day. And this is enough for a day trip. This is enough for a little road trip, you and your babe, going on down to the beach. You've got snacks, you got treats, you have everything you need. You can put an umbrella in here. You can probably get a beach chair in here. And we're good to go. You know, they said this was a hot little car at the dealership. One hot little car. Can't lie, this is one hot little car. They were selling me this car. I said, you know what? You're going to look good in that car. It's a hot little car. It's a 2014 Prius. That's a hot little car. You know, I think I might need to fuck this car. You know, I didn't think that would hurt my testicles as much as it did, but it did. Sometimes you conquer the hill, sometimes the hill conquers you. But when you're in a Dodge journey, you're in style and comfort the whole time. The funny thing about these Ford Freestyles, they're reliable as heck, all right? Imagine, uh, how do I put this for you? I, how do I put this for you in a way you understand it? You people don't understand it. The first thing about energy or fields or field theory, so why would you understand why this car's so great, all right? It's like, I'm, I'm wasting, I'm wasting, uh, you know, it's pearls before swine here, all right? I mean, it's, ah, right? If you don't know about energy or field theory, it's, you know, I might as well be, t I might as well be telling a, a, a three-year-old how the inside of a computer works, all right? Yes, there are little men inside who carry the bits. You have to imagine it as a factory assembly line, and the bits are on a, it doesn't matter. Anyway. We're here, we're gonna do some dyno testing. We're gonna see how much of that sweet factory sealed Ford horsepower remains. Exciting time. You might have heard a funny sound. That's the rotary engine. Anyway, I'll play with that off a of camera.
So the 25th space shuttle mission is now on the way after more delays than NASA cares to count. This morning, it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off. Remarkable. They packed in so much into such a tiny platform. Looks like a couple of the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, blew away from the side of the shuttle. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did a jet engine just take off? Was that a stampede of, of charging stallions? I think not. Ford Freestyle. <laughs> thing has the potential for a lot of horsepower because I'm on it, but what broke here? What happened to that break? Whole, like the back sprocket thing that broke right off. No, this, this thing is going to go right on. I feel like if I got a running start that I could beat the freestyle. Does that sound insane? Well, a lot of things sound insane. The first electric light bulb sounded pretty insane. I feel like there's a good chance that on a good day, Wind at my back, I've got freestyle power in me. Okay, today, that's not today, but we had a mechanical breakdown. Obviously, there's reasons why I can't demonstrate my insane power right now. You guys take the freestyle, meet me. I'm going out. All right, I'll meet you guys over there. Take the freestyle. I'll see you guys. Take it for a spin. Yeah. <clears throat> Angela, what are you talking about? We're going to prom in my dad's T Bird. Dad's T Bird. Dad's T Bird. Guys, what we have here is a vintage T Bird. You get one of these bad boys, you take your sweetie to a drive in movie. Cherry. Whether you're into tuners, or into muscle cars, or you just like them all, there's one thing that remains constant. McGuire's. Fucking bitch. See, see? When you see a car like this, you think to yourself, what kind of man owns this car? Well, I'm gonna think he's got a pronounced beer gut, he fucks his wife missionary position, missionary position, and he has everybody, all of his immediate friends and family, he makes them uh, call him Top Cop. That's his nickname, Top Cop. Never in law enforcement, he just wants to be called Top Cop. By his wife and his kids, Top Cop. And his friends, his buddies that he hangs out with, they all call him Top Cop. You know what I think would be fun? We take this car down to the, hey look, take this car down to the rock quarry, ain't no one there. We check it out, then we drive to Knob Hill. You know what sort of stuff goes on over there? You know what? I don't know, I've been hearing lots of weird stories, but I bet that you and me can go find out what happens on Knob Hill, because I know where it be. I'm gonna go, you and me. Sounds, 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 sounds all right. Okay, good. Let me count up my raffle tickets, we'll go get the malted. We'll go get the malted real quick, and then have a cheeseburger deluxe. You need to pay me your fucking raffle tickets. Hey, Last Chuck, time what are you gonna know. make him do? Well. First, I'll make him get real slippery, real lubricated. And then, after that, things tend to get nasty after 10 p.m. It won't be 10 p.m. We got time before then to get down. Hey, I'll take a chocolate malted for me and my sweetie. It's like a fucking. 60 something? I don't know. Holy shit. Hey, can I piss in the back of that trailer? Yeah. Go fucking hog wild. Up here in free country, it's a lot better because you can do whatever you want to every day. Because if you did when you did that, we never mind to go down to home improvement. Sam, Sam, Sam. 
Sam, Sam, Sam. What are we doing here? We're going with the old predictable Sam Hyde saves the day ending again. Boring. It's boring at this point, okay? You guys think I don't want to see a movie where I'm the bad guy, where I die at the end? You think I'm satisfied just constantly getting rich, cavorting around Europe with beautiful girls, driving the finest vehicles, the Bentley of Rhode Island? I told you about energy. I told you about field theory. I told you to keep an eye out for energy demons, phase drones, all sorts of gooby goblins. Nobody pays attention to me. That's what my life is like, a beautiful, perfect arc. And then I come to a screeching halt. This is a story we've all heard before. Sam saves the day. The 2005 Ford Freestyle, the Rhode Island Bentley, as they call it, went uh, completely homicidal, tried to kill me. I brought it out here where there's no cell phone service. I have my own energy field and neutralizers. It's just coax cable around a center proboscis inside a pylon. Die! No brainer. It's as easy as one, two, three, and yet nobody goes with me here. I've been trapped in this car for oh, about three months now. Here, I'll prove it. This is three months worth of urine. See, would I have this if I wasn't trapped in a Ford Freestyle? So I've been biding my time. Like any great kidnapper, I also know what to do when you've been kidnapped. And I tricked her. I tricked her into thinking that I was gonna be doing some remodeling, that I was gonna build a shed. Meanwhile, I was acquiring weapons. How do you even use a hammer like this to destroy a car? It doesn't make sense. Ridiculous. Don't breathe that in. Whoa! Now that actually felt nice. Whoa! That was cool. Whoa! Whoa! This whole fucking thing is plastic. Away. Get away from that smoke. I saw them do this on cops. So I want to see if, it's, if you can do it in real life. They did this on cops. Oh, that's gonna, that might cut my fingers. That's not a good idea. Let's try the old faithful. Hey, car windows are tough. with this window. You've been controlling my life! Fuck you! Ow, fuck! Deprogramming the human mind. Is there a task nobler, more difficult? I think not. Are you up to the challenge? Anybody knows you can't just be some dummy and start hurting them, okay? You gotta tease them a little bit. You gotta tease them. For some girls, this would be a dream. You feel that, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, you feel that? Oh, yeah. There's a horniness to this. I'll do that. I'll do this. I'll do a little bit of this. Yeah, get in there. You like that, huh? You like that? Yeah! That's what I thought! 
There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. On the seat. On the seat. That's nasty. That's nasty. There you go. Yeah. 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 Oh, we yeah. talked about energy. We talked about field theory. No one believed me. My little buggy, go anywhere, buggy. No one believed me. No one believed me, lock, go anywhere, buggy. No one believed me, lock, go anywhere, buggy. Wait, Kyle, don't worry about the sledgehammer. I'll just put this one in big mode. Big mode. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep. That's fine. I lock it in, I lock it in. Things that make me happy, masturbating, locking in certain memories, uh, Chick-fil-A, Five Guys, uh, Fallout 2, uh, Diablo 2, being obsessed with asses. Hey, I think there's an ass I can fucking hear. Is there one? Is there an ass I can fucking hear? Huh? Hey! Step one, break up the edges. You can take this to a homeless guy's head. And it's now that I'm gonna give back socially because I have a social movement that I wanna, <coughs> it's called Project Happiness, AKA the tools you need. You're gonna go to a hardware store, you're gonna buy a dozen of these, you're gonna go buy some caffeine pills, and you're gonna give these and caffeine pills to homeless people. The tools they need, Project Happiness, helping others lock it in. You know, it's been a long road, starting on YouTube, no subscribers, and you know, finally working up to the point where I can afford my dream car, the Fiat 124 Spider, is truly awesome, and I thank God every day. I thank you guys, I thank the fans. Thank you guys so much for blessing me. I can't believe my dream car is only 30 grand. Baby, you and me, we're gonna be zipping around. I'm hyperventilating because I'm surrounded by my dream cars. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Yes! I can't yes! believe in five yes! days I'm gonna be taking yes! delivery of this Fiat 124 yes! Spider. Yes! 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 This is like getting a blowjob from a guy! This car's like getting a blowjob from a guy! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Woo! I love my car. This car so much. Something's stopping us from going. Something's stopping us. We're losing. We're losing oil pressure. The temperatures. Oh, temperatures overheating. This thing, are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, what are you talking about? Something, something's really fucked up. Something really actually bad happened. Hold on. You gotta get out of here. Wait, hold on. It's in, you just start in park. There we put it in park. Let's unplug this. This, this is an unnecessary drain on the electricity, so once we unplug this, we're gonna be just fine. <sighs> All right. She's giving up the ghost. I have a hard time with death. With Goodbyes. I went to um, film camp in Paris, France. It was uh, that's kind of kind of gives away the fact that I was a rich kid. But when it was time to say goodbye, I just bounced. I didn't say goodbye to anyone. Really hard time saying goodbyes. My rats. I have pet rats. 
most insignificant creature you could imagine, right? A rat. What are you gonna do with a rat? Well, I'm gonna cry, and then I'm gonna go to an unnecessary length, literally freezing four rats at uh, the Cryonics Institute in Michigan. My four little guys, abandonment issues, hardcore, out the wazoo. I'm gonna get her back, come on. Come on, bitch. Love me. Love me. Love me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you fucking cunt. Come on, you fucking dumb cunt. Don't you get it? I'm rich. I'm famous. Don't you get it, you dumb cunt? I'm a celebrity. Who are you gonna, who are you gonna date now? Scott from Guitar Center? You fucking stupid bitch. Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you, retard bitch! All right guys, so let's get started with our review. This is the last freestyle in North America, and we're gonna have to spend about $35,000, $45,000 getting a frame off, acid dip, glass out, engine out, restoration, body respray. I'll probably go to the junkyard, buy a couple broken freestyles just for parts. The price is getting higher and higher. At the end of the day, this is gonna be $110,000 Ford freestyle but it's one of one, it's worth it. Numbers matching, one of one. Ford Motorcraft Goop up front in the engine, Ford Motorcraft Glass in the carpet and seats and my eyes, Ford Motorcraft Sledgehammer through the windshield, Ford Motorcraft uh, Bulging Disc in my back. This car has gone extinct, and it's like bringing back the woolly mammoth. We got a Ford Raptor over here, I think we're onto something, I think Ford tie in with Jurassic Park. They had the explorers in the original movie. <clears throat> it has an old operating system, so it takes a while to start up. 2005 doesn't seem that long ago, but back then we had, you know what, Pentium, Pentium 286 processors, okay? The original iMac. So it takes this thing about 20 minutes to boot up. But when it does, it's gonna be kicking, alive and kicking. Just you wait. Just keep on saying, just you wait. Just you wait. Just you wait. Just you wait, baby. This review's ready to start the review. Let's go, woo! All right, let's get into the features, benefits, and how it's gonna, how it feels on the road, I guess. I don't know, what are car reviews? What do they do in car reviews? They drive it, and action, go! Action! And action! All right, go! Roll it, roll tape! Okay, round robin questions here. Round robin questions, all right? Turbo or supercharged? Turbo. Import or domestic? Import. NOS or NOS? Neither. Blonde or brunette? Brunette. Top or bottom? Bottom. CBT or BBC? C either CBT. One. CBT. Tear the grass up. Headlights at night. Yep. So what's with huge jack dudes in green cars? What's I don't the deal? Know, man, I don't know. So they go just go good hand in hand. <laughs> Do you work out at all? I like mauve, mauve cars myself. <laughs> Cream <laughs> white. My mauve Previ and my Cream big lard ass. You and me, we're gonna be characters in the next Fast and Furious movie, and I'm gonna say something and you say something, and we're just gonna, you know, bounce it off each other. Does it sound good? 
Hit the boost, kid. All right, man. 20 inch wheels. And we know right away that this is a big boy's toy right off the bat. This guy's got $1 million at least. It's a little understated, but that's okay. Close at enough. least, at least. I'm gonna leave it low because I don't like to brag. Got a custom body kit. This isn't for the faint of heart. If you look behind you, we're towing along a, what is that, a four ton trailer? Three and a half ton military trailer. It's a 1968, been uh, recently restored by me and uh, my buddy over there. It's uh, looking not a day over two years old. <laughs> You're right. Can we ask you a personal question? Do you, do you shave your arms? Yeah. Is that is that for the ladies? Is that just the personal thing? You like the way you feel with that? Shows more definition. Shows more definition. Get rid of the hair. Nice. Get, <laughs> get some of that vascularity pop in there. That's it. Uh, sound system, all tinted out. Cold air intake. We got some big veins showing here at the X Games. 2012 MTV. I'm Cody Cyrus. Peace out. Drift it if you got it. I need NOS. I need NOS. No. My car topped out at 140 miles per hour this morning. Amateurs don't use nitrous oxide. I've seen the way you drive. You got a heavy foot. You'll blow yourself to pieces. I look older than you. How old are you? 40. 40. Well, you look good for 40, man. Thank you. I'm 27 and I look 40. That's what happens when you pump the weights and keep the biceps pumped. Oh, you know? I, I pump cigarettes yeah. into my body and I drink burgers. I drink craft beer. <laughs> I smoke weed with my girlfriend at night. <laughs> <laughs> I sweat a lot and I fucking smell like bologna. Monday we do chest. Wednesday legs. Thursday shoulders. Friday buys and tries. Uh, you have two thing. bicep days? Yeah, we try to work on the biceps. A Jesus, bit more. you must be able to curl a lot of weight. So you're saying to me that if I had, to, if I had a leather bag right. about 10 feet away from us that had about X amount of dollars in cash to buy this car, how much would it have to be? 80 grand. 80 grand. 80 grand. That's too much money. Yo, what's up? This is Twisted Jamie X repping Twisted T. Founded on the premise in 2001 that Twisted T should taste like real iced tea. I'm here at the Forza Motorsports Epic 2012 Slam Jam, hitting the boost with Real Talk. How pissed off does your wife get when she told you you spent another grand on the car? She don't know. Do you have a name for this car? Hulk. Tell me about this Honda Del Sol right here, boy. <laughs> on the plus side, we got the Arabuni body kit. Yeah. We got the CCW. These things are banging, forged, bro. Forged magnesium rims. Come on, yo. On the bad side, it is the 1993 Honda Del Sol. I want a big toy truck. It's a boy toy. I want it to be bright red like a fire engine, but I want it to be tough like an army truck. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've seen my girl Vita, and now I'm here in New Bedford, Massachusetts, all the way across the world, and uh, I run into my ex painted on this guy's fucking tank. He's probably a nice guy we're here with. Who's the best Hulk? Lou Ferrigno or Ed Norton? Me. You? Paul oh. Souza. I like I Paul Souza. I love haters. Love them. You gotta love them. There's a bunch of them. Everybody doesn't like to see you do good. Fuck them. Everybody's doing good. It's not how you stand by your car. It's how you race your car. You better learn that. You got the white, blue, white right there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Lug nuts. Okay, that's a lot of bodybuilding guys. Their liver, yeah. all the D bowl takes a toll. Yeah. Yeah. Are you are you on that stuff? No. No? no. You swear to God? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all gravy. As long as you got big traps and big biceps. That's it. I've never been this horny, and let me tell you why. It's because we're here in front of the Infinity QX80. This is the highest form of luxury that Infinity offers. It's smooth. This is like cyber skin right here. It's a cyber skin dildo on the hood. That's a nice texture. We got a whole, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming. It's new. Ugh. God forbid you hit a pedestrian. What's the first thing you're thinking? Did I damage my car? Ah. Ah. No. Let me prove my further point. Is infinity gonna slow down because of ice? No! No way! Are you kidding me? This is Japanese engineering at its finest. Are you out of your mind? What, are you crazy?
where's this where's the mobile speed bag on a BMW with the infinity it's right here it's right here here it is oh yeah whoopsie eee. and the thing is the thing is put together see even a, even in even an amateur engineer like me can figure out how to get this back. And this just means that I've been training harder than usual today. Let's see if we can get that back on. Can we get Is someone getting gaffer tape? Okay. Goot. We're gonna be needing a lot of that. Oh shit, there we go. Fuck! So what do we got? We got the incredible five-star pedestrian safety and you can hit people all fucking day long and this thing is not going to fold it's not going to bend it's not going to break it's going to charge right through that crowd what else on a serious note this thing is an ugly ass piece of shit today we spend six hours five hours was it five hours five. was it four five hours trying to rent a car and at the end all they have is this Okay, this rebadged Nissan. Rebadged Nissan. If this was a, you know, better car, this would be solid oak. Solid oak front end. And I'm kicking it. <laughs> I wouldn't be psyched to have this car for free. This is like, I don't even know what to say about it. And is it okay if um, I bring my partner with me? Sure, what's your name again? I'm sorry. My name is Sam Hyde. I think we probably spoke on the phone about driving the Fiat 124 Spider. Let's take a peek. We got in the, in the car and right away, it was so uncomfortable even before doing anything. The guy, he's kind of he's kind of portly, he's on the bigger side. I'm 6'4", so we're shoulder to shoulder. I mean, we could have been sharing the same condom, basically. No, it sure is a tight fit in here. You and me, we're in here, we're crammed in like sardines. Uh-huh. Can you believe it? I can tell visually just from his skin and like the tensing of his muscles that even, even before we started driving, he really was not having a good time um, being stuffed next to uh, <laughs> Mr. Huge Homo. Turn this radio off. I just want to hear this, the music of conversation, right? What was your name again? Bobby. 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 Oh, I don't want to ruin my audio my recording. Okay. Why are you recording? I'm just teasing you. I'm kidding. This is the other thing uh, that people don't know is that I smell. I don't, <laughs> I don't necessarily shower. I never, I haven't worn deodorant in like six years, okay? I have a strong fragrance to me. I'm a big ass air freshener. <laughs> Can we go down and back on the highway real quick? I just want to feel. We just passed the highway. We uh, only have time for a five minute. Well, drive. let's. You can't be driving it like this. You have to drive it normal. This is the racetrack. This is the speed limit. You can't be driving. Like now it's I think this is one of the first times where uh, the, the the vehicle has actually outrun the chopper. Don't worry, I'm a certified racer. So the guy he tells me which exit to take, and I started pretending like I didn't know what to do, even though it's like very clearly obvious that you're supposed to take the exit on the right. Is it a left or a right here? The right. Okay. The right. Which is right. I'm panicking. Right. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm panicking. I'm sorry. I freaked out and I didn't want to crash. That added about 20 minutes to our journey because we went right into like right into traffic. <laughs> we're not, we're gonna Which be stuck one? in traffic for an hour because you missed the exit. And not a, I think that's an exaggeration. God, just like Bruce. There's a solid 20 minutes of just silence. Like sitting with this guy that hates hates me. I'm so I'm so sorry. Maybe you should drive us back. I was just fucking molested by the uh, Fiat salesman. He, gra he grabbed at my crotch. The camera was on my crotch. And this is like a clown test drive right now. Well, I'm sorry, but I panicked because you were screaming. You know we're gonna be stuck you here were screaming at me. Trying to <laughs> figure out how to turn off a GoPro. I hope you at least get some commission off that. I don't, I don't want the commission. Yeah, 60, 65 year old man. He's, uh, can you imagine that? I mean, he's going. imagine he's going through the settings like faster than I am. He's like. Yeah, Jeff. 
yes, I'm on a test drive. I told him we couldn't go on the highway. He goes on the highway anyway. Starts taking the ramp on ramp like we're driving a Ferrari. Well, don't tell Jeff. I tell him what exit to take, and he deliberately keeps going straight. So I'm getting a little aggravated right now, and I honestly think he's recording stuff. I am not recording. Because he's this. talking stupid, asking me if the car has a V8 engine. And so I'm getting pretty it's pissed got a lot off. Of so when we come back, I don't want to deal with it. Because right now we're stuck on 295 with bumper to bumper Where's traffic. 40 he didn't miles take an the hour. Exit that I told him to take. Jeez. Deliberately, deliberately went to the left when you I. You are a right. liar. You're lying about me, so dude. Jess. I have a feeling this bag he's got because I noticed a camera staring at me. There's it's not recorded. a camera staring at you. I'm not recording. This test drive is the test drive. This is the exit you want, right? We sure picked a small car to get in an argument in, didn't we? If you pull one more driving well, stunt, don't say it you're so, going to walk back. Don't say it so loud. Oh yeah, it's me. You're the one screaming at me. I think you'd be the one driving, walking back. Oh really? Yeah. I wouldn't push that if I was you. What are you going to do, have the police come right up here to the car? It's happened before. I don't believe you. Well, I love the car, that's the good news. And we are greeted to our revving process, much like a much like a GT3 race car. The Infinity wants to rev high as soon as you start it up, and that's going to warm the engine up. And uh, now you're ready for you're ready to really give it give it a go. So I've already, I've tried to put it in four low and we've got this flashing thing here. Julian, can you get that? And it's flashing, it's going four high, four low. It doesn't know, it doesn't know. It's, it's got the Japanese casino. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog casino zone. It doesn't know what we want. It's binging up and down. So we push it, we go like this. Nope, that brings us up to audio source. That's not gonna help us get into four wheel drive mode. All right, I guess we'll just, Try it out and see. Maybe we'll put it in tow mode for kicks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's that smell is very upsetting. I would not drive a car like that. Damn! Oh, this thing's gonna break! Oh, shit! Oh, that's fast for a back road like this. Oh, yeah. Disappointing. You have a seatbelt on, right, Barrett? Mm -hmm. Okay. This thing is a beeping machine! Beep! Beep! Oh! Oh! Beep! 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 God! Jesus. Beep! 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 There's one thing you take away from this. When a rental car agency is selling cars, don't buy from a rental car agency. Thank you, God. And thank you, the Japanese version of God. And also, thank you, God, for preventing me from killing John and Chris, which I almost did. Let's get another one. Thank you, God. God is real. Oh my God. If I get my foot in there, another fucking second, and would have killed Chris and John. Whatever they may call him, we all worship differently.
I was pretty good in social studies when I went to high school. And after that, when I was in life, I got even better at understanding people. Now, every day, not everybody's gonna realize that there's a ton of tells. A guy like me, when I'm standing close to you, I'm pulling you apart. I'm figuring out what you like, what you don't like, what you eat when you get up in, in the morning. What do I eat? Tell me what I'm all about. Listen, we're gonna, we're gonna stand by these people's cars. We're gonna find out what they're all about. We're gonna we're gonna predict. I'm gonna be a genie. I'm gonna be a genie lamp. I'm gonna tell them exactly what they do for a living, they do for life, what they spend their money on, what they like and they don't like. And it's gonna be as easy as standing by the cars in a parking lot, because we're parking lot genies. We got a nice little yellow beetle here. A little 2000 yellow beetle. The reason why I know it's a 2000 is because it came in this nice color. Now the stickers on the back telling a lot. I'm gonna guess an earthy girl with long, a long, Sandy brown, sandy blonde hair, that's my guess. That's how I'm gonna go out on a limb. If it's stick shift, it's got tint on the window, so I'm gonna say the person's under 28 years old. Sandy blonde hair? Bingo. I like that. I predicted, I predicted it. You did. I did. And it's stick shift too, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's right. I like that. Yeah, I do too. Nice. Tell us one fact about yourself that would surprise us. I wrote a book about Columbus. I also have a turquoise. So watch out. Black CRV. Okay, if the world was perfect, I think I would drive one. It's all-wheel drive. It's got four cylinders in it, and it gets great gas mileage. If the world was all perfect, we'd all drive Honda CRVs. Trust me, mark my word. My guess is because it's black, it's definitely a guy's car. All right, he didn't buy the fancy stuff. He's practical. My guess is he's Jewish. But I could be wrong, but I'm probably not. Solid waste. Solid waste permit. Definitely Jewish. Boxes, Jewish. Super clean, nothing inside except an empty water bottle. Staying healthy. X3, if you drive an X3, you're probably a fucking cunt. Someone I hate, someone who should get beat up by their husband, but probably doesn't, probably wears the pants in the relationship. Prudent Island, I'm guessing, right here. And it's relatively new because you have a six digit plate, so it could be anything. <laughs> guessed it, right on the nose. Talk. What's that? I'd love to talk, hello. Yes. Oh, I'm kidding. Interesting, I guessed, uh, I guessed it perfectly. This we is what thinking was BMW X3 alcoholic. How'd you know that? I was just on my way to the liquor store. Let me guess what you're going to buy. Let me guess, you're going to buy a blended white wine. No. A red wine, you're gonna drink some red tonight? Uh, no, but I usually would. No, how about Dark and Stormy? Ooh! Ooh. That was white. last night. No, tonight is organic white. Organic white. Yeah. Hmm, I like your style, we'd be friends. Is the divorce all final yet? Nope. Oh, you guys are so funny. Did you follow me and you knew when no, I was... No, no, no. Why did you get... Are you, get, are you going through one? What? You want to get out of here? <laughs> like Let's get out of here. Have fun, have fun. I am my husband's worst nightmare. You don't even get it. Let's open the hood. <laughs> Let's pop the hood. Taking a note out of Ferdinand Porsche's playbook, the trunk is actually up front. As you can see here, Whoa. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's expensive. This is expensive. High quality Japanese steel in here. This is expensive and good. Expensive, good. This thing is about as complex as the US space station. We don't know exactly what's going on in here. Hold on, wait, hold on. I gotta get this thing. These infinities are tricky. The hood, hold on. Ah! Wrap this around a bitch's neck. Ah, yeah. And now you're ready to go for a drive. One thing that luxury cars are best known for is their sound dampening, the quiet. You're gliding down the highway. You're not bumping along. One thing about the Infinity that's so nice is you could be sitting in here going 200 miles an hour. You wouldn't even know it. But let me demonstrate for you the noise canceling properties right now. It's almost silent. Sometimes I like to sneak up and surprise it. I like to pretend like I'm not gonna do that. Hey, all right, all right, Infinity, I'll see you later. Hey, no worries. Oh, hey, do you know where they're... You don't let, you don't broadcast anything to the person, okay? You just, it's like a prison shanking, a prison knifing. 
It's like this. Now I know, I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. What if I'm driving down the road in my brand new Infiniti QX80, right? Like you tell your friends at the golf club, at the pool, you tell them, yeah, I just got a new Mercedes S-Class. I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty well off. What do I drive, pal? A Lexus LS. I think I'm all right, okay? <clears throat> what do you tell people? You tell them, yeah, I drive a Infiniti QX80. That must be an expensive car. A QX80? Those are the last letters in the alphabet. And an 80 is high. And they're gonna think you're rich. That is rich. But Sam, I'm tired of cars running on that pesky gasoline. How can I feed my car something healthy? Well, right here. <clears throat> okay. And the QX80 juices them every time. The QX80 juices them every time. QX80, you don't even need to take the wrapper off because the juice comes dribbling out the safety cup. The juice is just gonna come squeezed right out there okay and here comes the door juiced one shot see fresh florida orange juice fresh infinity japanese orange juice there we go and this is going right in the engine i would never just put gasoline in one of these things what happens if you feed your infant kid gasoline? They die. That's why these cars break down. And now we're ready for another 700 mile drive. Okay, you know what, we need some mud in there too. Here we go. It's, a, it's like a, um, Mexican adobo, adobo houses, adobe houses. You need to really get in there with the mud and the grease. Okay, but you're cruising down the road, and all of a sudden, a nasty Mr. Stick finds his way into your QX80. Then it's time to break out the bank vault doors. <laughs> Smolderized to smithereens. Not a problem anymore. Look at that, look how clean that is. Japanese precision. Hold on. Wait a second, oh, it didn't close all the way. Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. It didn't close all the way, hold on a second. It's not closing all the way. This, now this is a feature that's unique to the Infinity, an auto hatch shut feature. But what if there's a child in the way? Watch out, mommy! What if there's a kid there? You're not gonna hurt him. What if there's a kid in the way? Oh, mommy, my head, I'm dying, mommy. Owie. My mom saves me. What if you had to save a pretty girl's life? What if you had to save a woman's life and she was hot? Oops. Oopsie. Fucking stop. So if this thing was gonna crush your child's head and kill him, this piece would break off and create enough room for your child's head and he wouldn't die. Infinity hates dead kids. It hates negligent mothers. Infinity hates negligent mothers and fathers and fathers who cheat and are womanizers. Infinity hates it. So they create a crumple zone. So that's the engine, pretty cool. Is this thing broken? Is this thing just falling apart at the seams? I didn't even touch this. Oh, we're gonna have to do some taping later. Everything's broken though. H4N's broken. Fucking all our recording gear's broken. Everything is some hassle, you know? Everything is some problem. So um, we had a little fun there. You know, driving a little goofy, but now we're on the highway, 70 miles an hour, 
the engine is revving 4,500 in seventh gear. I think we're stuck in four low. I'm starting to feel like maybe we made a mistake. But the, I can't figure out why, the four wheel drive switch is set to auto or four high. Either way, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Maybe you have to push? But we've been looking, we looked <clears throat> through the manual but this is really bad, it's really unnerving. I feel like this thing's gonna set fire. Being on, being on the highway in a heavy ass SUV that's like revving its tits off. It's really, really dumb. Let's go ahead with the old high pressure rinse. Okay, let's give it the absolutely highest pressure possible. Just fuck them. Now see this seam right here? This seam, what most people don't realize is completely watertight. Water sealed. There's, there's absolutely no chance of water leaking into the light when you do this. <laughs> QX80! <laughs> it's almost like this vehicle's never seen a dirt road. What do you mean it looks like it's been off-roaded? This thing's showroom new. I wonder what's under here. What's under here? Is it a computer? Is this where the drive computer goes? See, most engines, like a modern gaming PC, most engines are water cooled. So this is healthy. There were never any oranges on here, sir. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you even mean there was an orange on the engine? You got two ends of the spectrum. Here's our day filming this. Here's the car review in a nutshell. On the spectrum of value, on the spectrum of goodness and positivity and life and happiness, on one end you have Fig Newtons, you have friends who help you out, you have fans who will pay to watch your content, you have Ford Raptors, you have the Sony Z90. On the other hand, you have the motherfucking Infiniti QX80. Now, if you're a BMW enthusiast, I happen to be one. You're gonna like stance works and you're gonna be like a chunky gay kid, just like me. This is a brand new M3. Now, this is big time, okay? You're talking V8, you're talking twin turbo. You're talking tiny little dick. You're talking tiny little dick and then a long explanation on why you're the fucking shit after that shit's all done. Now, why would you spend 70 grand? Why would you spend 70 grand? Because you fucking can, that's why. But the reality is you probably can. My guess is this guy's gonna walk out, he's gonna have a haircut, that's for sure. The haircut is gonna be freshly cut no longer than two weeks ago. His breath, it's gonna be minty and he's gonna be the coolest guy you know with light scrub. CRV, man. Yeah, the Rizzy project, sorry, sir. No problem. Cool. Sir, one quick question. This is for the news here. Are you Jewish? We're doing a Honda owners and Jews. I am Jewish. You know, if I'm going, it's a good color, okay? I would pick this car out. I would pick this color out. I don't know if I'd go with all this. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna guess someone, I'm gonna guess an intellectual. I'm gonna guess someone who knows a little bit more about things than I do. And when I say things, I mean everything. Is that me? Sir, can you tell us something that we wouldn't have guessed about you just by looking at you? Now, if you went with the Volkswagen Touareg, you were probably thinking to yourself, man, I'm the fucking best, and I have all the best ideas. But my wife, she's gonna drive the one that looks like a Porsche Cayenne. So I picked up the Touareg. If you know anything about cars, you know the Touareg's 60,000 bucks, and you also know that it's the biggest waste of money out of them all. The Touaregs are instantly worth 12 grand. Now, it's white, so I'm gonna guess a woman. There's something special about driving a white SUV if you're a woman, right, girls? No, really, you're winning the championship race between all the women that you're racing against. That's an old plate. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a, a, a blonde-haired woman, okay, with a Helly Hansen raincoat on, or an L.L. Bean, the new stuff. If it's not, it's a white-haired 65-plus-year-old man. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess there's some money. Here. My guess is gonna be a boater's wife. This is some old money right here. This is like, this is like a, the last name's probably. The L probably stands for uh, Lincoln. But we'll just sit and wait. 
We'll sit and wait. We're having a Rizzy project where we're guessing who drives the cars. Oh. I didn't guess you, though. Oh, okay. Damn it. Sorry. Can you answer me one question? Sure. Okay, two questions. It was my All guess. Right, that was one. All right. Hey, easy, you. It's fine, it's fine. Do you have a lot of money? It's a company car. It's a company car? But there's vanity plates on it. Uh, they're my dad's plates. Old money. Why? I knew I'd get one thing right. That's it. Oh, because the plates? Yeah, yeah, that's it. And it was just the white on tan. That's a girl's car. That's a girl's car. Oh, yeah, I didn't choose it. I would have rather a black car. The inside of that car stinks. Wow. Shit, I was wrong. Hey, maybe I'm not a genie. Maybe I should go back to Egypt where I came from. Make sure you're waving goodbye. I don't think she liked it when we told us her car stinks. <laughs> I don't think she liked that. Oh, well. It's not my fault your car smells like a toilet. Girls can't come on this bike though. Yeah, I got a, I got a suction bitch pad it's called. So any woman can get on it at any time. Girls like that. They love it. Every time I want to give a girl a ride on my motorcycle, I always pull on my bitch pad and I say get on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you gave me an hour, I'd, st I'd stay for an hour in the, in the back of this van. I'd sit in the captain's chairs with Edward, we'd share some champagne, and I'd see what champagne would do to my thighs. I know it would separate them. A 3.3 liter V6. It rips. I like speed. What's that? I like speed. You like speed? Yeah. Oh, man. How fast did you get this up to? Oh. Mostly I got it probably on the highway, probably 80. Yo, what's up, America? This is Cody Danger with MTV Whips. You whipping hard? I'm here with Kyle at the SEMA, at the Ken Block uh, X Games uh, show, pre-show. Kyle, what are we what are we looking at right here, buddy? Uh, we got the 01 Civic, uh, K-Swap, uh, bottom ends out of an 04 Civic Si. Now, for our friends out there who don't know so much about Civics, okay. what's a K-Swap? All right, K-Swap is when you take the engine out of a different car, uh, yeah. RSX or a uh, another Civic. Uh, Tip number one for all our viewers at home: get the K-Swap ASAP. I don't care if you're driving a Civic, an Integra or a minivan, K-Swap is gonna do you right. I'll tell you what, if I had one of these, I would send my girlfriend for a walk, because you could pretty much pull any, any piece of ass in this, in this festival in this car. Uh, and enough to do whatever you want to in the back. <laughs> the party. We're gonna be buying one car here today, cash money, and we put cash in that bag right there. Um, if I had to buy this cash, how much would I have to pay? How much would I have to pay for it right now if we're making a deal? Deal. <clears throat> this thing looks pretty serious here. Okay, we've seen some cars today where they just kind of put a Momo steering wheel in. Yep. They put some, uh, some you know, they spray paint the rims a little bit and they call it a day. Yep. I don't think you did that. You did something else. What'd no. you do? Well, this guy's been five years in the making now. Uh, I started off with the case swap, forward. so we added the turbo onto it. It's a Garrett GT40 uh, twin scroll. Next, after Garrett. that, started to get bored with it. The methanol injection from. Uh, Let me try. Translate for everybody at home that thinks we're talking about Pokemons and Mega Flops right now. This car is seriously fast. <clears throat> deal, deal. 55 grand. I, I appreciate the fact that you weren't a, a, a dickhead on the price because we've asked a few people on the price, and if they think I'm stupid, some kid asked me to pay 100 grand for a Civic. 100 grand for a Civic. An 01. 100,000 miles on it. I mean, I like the kid and everything, but fuck that. To get me into this Red Hummer lifestyle. How much if I had to buy, we had to buy it from cash from you at the end of this interview? 100,000. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Do you finance? Now let me ask you a question. I saw earlier that you got into a, a fight with a guy. Uh-huh. What was that all about? Oh man, this goes way back. One of the guys that's renting one of my garages, he decided to move out before he paid me. I saw and you getting into his face, I like it. I have guys never picks up his cell, never, you know, he just, he took the car out of there at night and he owed me money. So I caught up to him over here and I says, hey, remember me? You owe me the money, how much you money are you talking? Up. He owes me like $500. 500? Yeah. Well, you're getting on, putting the heavy on for 500 bucks. Well, uh, there's a couple of strippers in Osaka that owe me some money. But I wouldn't. I don't think I'd roll up on them um, and ask them for the 500 because I think they'd cut my stomach open. But Will, you must have brass balls, and I like that. 
What's the cam timing on this bad boy? Um, this thing starts accelerating after like two seconds. Accelerates after two seconds, baby. <laughs> What's up? One love, yo. Illist. I think we got enough stuff. I'm a juggalo, soldier, also a warrior. Yo, what's up? This is Mike. I'm here at the Hot Import Night Civic Showdown, and I'm here with... Matt. I feel so fat, I feel like lemon lemonade. Serious question. Matt, how you got so much swagger? Just do. Matt, what are we looking at right now? What, uh, what, kind, of, what kind of horsepower are you working with, boy? Yep. Woo! All you haters out on YouTube. Haha, <laughs> I see you. John Cena, baby. Hey, if you had to slap a name on this car, what would you name her? I used to call it the red-headed slut. <laughs> She's needy. Yeah. She wants a lot of attention. All right, so Kyle. Yep. We all know that a fat whip like this gets you a lot of speed, gets you going real fast. Yep. But just between you and me, let's just be honest. How much of this is about getting girls? All of it. There you have it. Playa, this is Cody Danger for MTV Wit, signing off, saying rev hard and drift safe. Drift into a bar jersey barrier. Drift your car. <laughs> drift it. I feel people need to enjoy life more and not worry about the dumb little things. We all understand that everyone's got to worry about their bills and their family and make sure these those things are always first. People just got to enjoy life, stop taking things for granted. You know what I mean? Life could be gone tomorrow. And and if you were miserable all those times, then what was your life? It was nothing. As long as you come out here, have some fun, enjoy yourself, make great friends, don't hold any grudges, life would be great. I wish everybody would be like that. See you do good. Fuck him. Everybody's doing good. Now, uh, Adam, could you say that one more time? And Nick, when he's doing this, tilt the camera, spin the camera like this. Get in there with the MTV look. Thank God, uh, I'll give you 62 grand for it right now. Uh, all right. I would take it too. <laughs> Dude, Luis, man, I'll tell you what. My kid over there tried to sell me a Civic for 100 grand. Yeah, right. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Adam. I said I love haters. Everybody hates to see you doing bad. You know, fuck them. Everybody just needs to do good and just do what they're doing. Oh, really? Nice. Be careful. Guys like you get caught up in divorce pretty quickly. Yeah, hopefully not. We'll see. Tell me a little bit about your cold air intake, son. Yeah, this is like a punk show. All right, no beverages. See, it is like bad boys. So, I can't take my donkey? <laughs> joke! Joke about that. Why? Don't do it, Nick. I want to bring my donkey. You can, you can bring it, just don't drip it. No, I just want to take the top off. Yeah. Ooh, Alcantara! <laughs> Ooh, Alcantara. Is that good go with swamp ass? I'll leave my donkey right over here. <laughs> cool. RS seats. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> RS! Alright. I'm gonna just put my diaper on. <laughs> my race diaper. What's this thing? Fuck. Oh, is this the harness for the crotch? Yeah. Oh. Look at me. My snowboard to my brother. <laughs> I love it. Should let it warm up for a second. I always want to get the pistons to temperature. Yeah. This thing's really racing. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty severe. What the fuck is that? The roll cage. Every insult that we ever said about Porsche has become my the soul of my being. I, yeah. I dude, I couldn't. I it didn't. I couldn't stop this from happening. There's no possible way I could have stopped this from happening. And Just, I'm fully Justin and he was shoving you into the into the forefront of the GT3 RS market? Yes. Make sure you get yourself on camera too. But he, yes, I was Destiny shoved me into the seat. Destiny was shoving you from behind into the seat saying, <laughs> yes. Samuel! 
Samuel, it's time for you to come to Zion's uh, Porsche realm. Mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired of you talking your saying those mean words. That is indeed what happened. Saying those mean words. Oh, the smooth gearbox. Love the wheel. Man, this thing is ultimate. I like the wheel a lot. This is like the most perfect car I've ever been in. It's NA, it's got a six speed stick shift. It's got uh, 507. Three, it's a 3.8 liter uh, horsepower. Yeah. Uh, probably, it's close to 400 at the, 400 at the wheels. Uh, I think it's, I think they rated it at, um, I wanna say 430 flywheel. Oh my so it's, God. it's only, it's really only um, probably about as fast as the Supra, but it's much safer. Like it's much more composed. Um, oh yeah. And easier, easier to drive. The thing that I like is that um, the graphics on the outside are so like garish and ridiculous. Yes. It's got a fucking checkerboard, like Dale Earnhardt checkerboard flag. I gotta be straight. That white red one that you like, I yeah. fucking when I saw that car, I, I like got mad. I was yeah, like, me, get that thing out of here. Yeah, me too. I was yeah. like, what, what, what? Uh, who's smoking Winston's at the Porsche Design <laughs> Studio? <laughs> like Jane. Rick. Who let Rick, Rick Jilson do the side? Like, why don't you put a little checkerboard there? Yeah, yeah. How many Marlboro points do I need for uh, <laughs> for the red and white GT3 RS? Well, it depends. You want to do the? Uh, that's a simple wave checkerboard. And right? that's just red and white. They have a blue and red one. That's insane looking. Looks, looks like an American Gladiator. The it, car. It looks like a color blindness test or something. <laughs> um, yeah, American Gladiator. The car. American Gladiator. Girl. Girl. And uh, the Denny car. told me that's the one to get. And, yeah. right, and right after I got this one, a red and blue one sold for 400000 So I guess it is the one to get. Jesus Christ. Um, 400000 Yeah, but there's something about... Yeah. Like, it's it's the way that they do it, though. It's like a it's like Balenciaga or something. Yes. Where it's like, racing! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Like, it's, it's not... Uh, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's hell on earth. That's hell on earth, though. That's, I, I like it. it. Well, it's... To it's, a point, to a point. It's, it's disruptive. Yeah. out of my pants again. Mm. I tucked my rosebud in. <laughs> These things are so fucking fast, dude. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's so fucking scary though. <laughs> it's so fucking like crazy that they're just like, pull more, more, <laughs> more. And, uh, you think it's done by like yeah. 7,000, but it's like, nope, there's yep. another 1,500, you're still going. And it's the approach speeds that you can fuck with in this car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that car? You can you can stop safely uh, way like any any point. It's yeah. like the ceramic it, brakes, the uh, yeah ceramic carbon brakes. So they really will you jam can just down. Stop down as hard as you want, and it's gonna stop. Well, that's 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 a big deal, I guess. Yeah, you yeah. Know, that's the biggest deal. But it's still fucking crazy. It doesn't matter. No, no one's ready to drive at a car or at a, a, a telephone pole or a marker in the road. Yeah. At those speeds. No, that's true. Oh, because that's really always that's, really that's what you're heading towards all the time is telephone poles and road markers. <laughs> that's it. Just other cars at 130. Yeah. How fast are we going? I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I don't understand people who look at the speedometer. <laughs> that's such a suicidal. Why would you do that? Don't look down. Yeah. What are you fucking crazy? Don't look down. You're, the... you're being illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's not even the speed. It's just the composure of it. It's so, it's so well made. It's like a... Uh, it's just like a perfect object. Yeah, that you can't actually feel the perfection of an object yeah. in a car. That is like something about... It's like a suit or something. It's just like yeah. a really nice... It's just like everything is perfect. Like a butter construction equipment that yeah. does like perfect damage or something. But, yeah, yeah. But you you don't get like gut-wrenching pulls on things like... <gasps> oh! Paralyzing. 
And that's always the move is the the 130 pull on 95. <laughs> yeah. All right, and I'm just getting on the highway here. I'll just do my quick 130. Yeah. Well, this as soon as I got it, somebody in an Alpina BMW tried to race me on the highway. What's he going to do? Fucking do all your coke? <laughs> what are you trying to race me or just snort a bag of coke on my deck? I'm just going to parallel park in the sky <laughs> <laughs> under the bridge yeah it was cool I made brown beans in my pants <laughs> I made some baked beans in my pants oh that's cool push with the elbow all that money it only yeah, gives yeah. you a door handle <laughs> oh my god help me fucking help me call my dad like a Winston.